What's up, Well2 family? It's Isaac once again. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to freehand a cap versus how to walk a cap. Thank you and stay tuned. Alright guys, so here I have my uh, 6 inch schedule 80 pipe, um, it's nice and flush, uh, now I'm going to do the cap, first I'm going to start off with walking the cup and then I'm going to show you the difference from walking the cup and freehanding. Alright guys, so for my first B cap, I'm going to do wide weaves, now some people like doing wide weaves, some people like doing tight weaves, um, either or is good, it doesn't really matter, um, just your, uh, your preference or whatever. So I'm gonna show you how to do a uh, big weave. So when you're gonna big, uh, do big weave, just tungsten facing down, you're gonna roll to your right, and then you're gonna roll it, turn. Roll, turn. Roll, turn. Roll, turn. Roll, turn. So eventually it's gonna look like this. Every step you're taking, you're going forward. Tungsten facing down, roll to your right, roll to your left. Roll it, turn, roll it, turn. So the pros and cons of walking the cup. Well, obviously if you walk the cup, you're gonna get a better design in your weld. It's gonna be more, uh, it's just gonna look nicer in my opinion. Um, you know, if your pipe does get hot and you're walking the cup, you do have the chances of slipping and causing a undercut. That's the only bad thing of walking the cup. Um, also, you know, you might not be always able to walk the cup. You know, you might be in a tight spot where you're going to have to physically uh, freehand it. So, you know, it's good to know both. All right, guys. So for my first B cap, I did the walking the cup technique. Um, I used a 1.8 wire 70S6 at 200 amps. Um, for my second B cap, I'm going to walk the cup. I'm going to do a tight, a tight, tight whip. And I'm going to run about 180 amps with a 1.8 uh, 70X6 wire as well. Oh shit! <laughs> so for this technique, I'm gonna do tight whips. Basically, if you wanna do tight whips, the way I do it, instead of weaving like this, instead of weaving like this, all I'm gonna do is just go right, left. I'm gonna roll, roll to my right, roll to my left. 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 So it's gonna look literally like this. It's a little slower, but it's just as effective. Roll to my right, roll to my left. 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 It's gonna look literally like this. It's a little slower, but it's just as effective. All right, guys. So. I'm done doing my uh, walking the cup on this side. Now I'm gonna freehand it. Now, whenever you're freehanding, um, me, I like to use some. I, I like to use my stick gloves just because they're a little thicker and I don't want to burn myself. Um, basically, the way I do it, I just go left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right. My technique, I put my, I have my hand like this, and I know it's gonna be kind of messed up, but I. It's like you're flicking somebody off. Like this, like this. That's how I do it. So don't get, uh, don't get your feelings hurt. So put my middle finger on the, on the pipe like this. I'm gonna put my wire in the middle. And then I'm gonna go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now to me, this is the easiest technique to do when you're freehanding. Some other people like to go back and forth, back and forth to get the little dime effect. I don't really like that way. I just like to be, keep it simple. Just right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. You want your tungsten always to be pointing down. You don't want to be at a messed up angle trying to do it like that. 
If you do it like this, you're gonna end up balling up the tip of your of your wire. So make sure that tungsten stays facing down, facing down. Right, left, right, left. 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 Right, left. Keep it simple, man. It's the easiest way to do it. Keep it simple. As long as you pass visual, you pass x-ray, you're good. You don't have to get fancy with this. Keep it simple. So the pros and cons in doing freehand, I will say the pros are that, um, you know, you might have a better control of your puddle. Um, you know, also you can fill a lot faster than if you're walking the cub. You can, uh, you know, feed a lot of material into your, uh, to your pipe so you can flush it real quick. The cons, I would say that uh, you got more, a uh, higher possibility of burning your hands up. That's the only thing or, you know, burning up, shrinking your gloves, burning your gloves up. I would say that's the only uh, con of freehanding. All right, guys. So there goes my uh, 1B freehand cap. Um, now it doesn't look as nice as me, uh, my other ones, but it still does look good. It doesn't look shitty. Um, whenever you're freehanding, it, it is a little harder to keep it consistent because, again, you're, you're resting your finger on something, so you're not, you're not gonna have the control that you have versus uh, walking the cup, but it's still just as effective. Um, the only thing that matters is, you know, leaving no undercut, no lack of fusion. As long as the QC passes uh, your visual, you're good, you know. That's all I care about, honestly. I don't really care about making it look the prettiest as long as it passes and I get my money. All right guys, so there you have it, walking the cup versus freehand. In my opinion, I will rather always walk the cup. Now, unless I have to, if I'm in a tight position, that's the only time I will personally just freehand. Um, freehand does come out nice, but it's a little harder uh, to make it look good, in my opinion. All right guys, so if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also check out our products at wellife.com. Um, we got a lot of new accessories coming in, so make sure you check out the, the website. Thank you.